Visiting the most dangerous city in America. Alright. Swear to God, huh? Oh, oh. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm Tommy G. Boots on the ground in the most dangerous city in America, St. Louis, Missouri. Real D, you in here with that f***ing man. Oh, yeah. Hold on. Hey, shit, for this shit, said all live outside, I changed the meaning. Got 34 came with Jim Fox line and then Uncle Christina. Real D, on the main top. You can buy this motherfucker right now, four stacks. This is where it go down there, this side of town. Each year, I make a trip to the most dangerous city in America. Shit, you guys f***ing got your after-school projects here, huh? On a quest to speak with local okay. residents and I think try the, uh, to think the what it's now. like growing up in such a wild place. Damn, that I shit once again find my myself ears, in St. Louis, Missouri, which one news source says is the city with the Myers highest homicide rate in the world outside Jesus. of Mexico. Today, prosecutors charged a man with murder for killing someone execution style in downtown St. Louis. This morning, St. Louis police are trying to Wait, identify what? and find five teens. They are wanted for questioning in last weekend's mass shooting downtown. The weekend of violence raises concerns about downtown St. Louis. From 3 o'clock Saturday afternoon until 3 o'clock Sunday morning, there were 639 calls for service. Take a look at the video of armed young people leaving a... I wasn't getting pipe. If anything, I was giving it on the basketball court. I was really hitting niggas with that shit, bro. I'm telling you, bro. Like, look at me, bro. Like, for real, bro. Like, little, little boom, right? Nigga, give me the ball. I'm like, oh, right? Like, boom, hit me the rock. Hit me the rock. Hit me the rock, chat. Hit me the rock. Hit me the rock. Boom, right? Got a ball in my hand, right? I'm, ah. I hit a nigga with, ah. Hit a nigga with, ah. Hit a nigga with that. Hit a nigga with that. Ah. Boom. Boom, you know what I'm saying? Hit him with the, hit him with the, ah. Right? Then I shoot him with the phone. Like, come on, bruh. It's really, like, it's, look, like, ah, bah. Step back. Like, come on, bro. It's not that hard, bruh. It's not that hard, bruh. It's just that, it's just, I gotta get my stroke game right again, bruh. That's really all it is, bruh. It's my first hoop session in, like, fucking, like, months, bruh. It's been literal months since my first hoop session, so. Something super crazy, bro. As expected. I, I, I just, I gotta start stretching this shit, though. Before and after. I'll probably do some stretches and shit after I, uh, after I get off stream. I don't, don't, JJ. Talking about 2K? Oh. Downtown loft. Try that shit in real life. Another man openly carrying a gun in the downtown area. He just glanced up at the helicopter, back around to the vehicle, which was on the run and on the move once again. Oh, isn't that wonderful? My son and I fall asleep to the lullaby of gunshots in the distance every night. Wow. In traveling to cities like Chicago, New York, LA, Philly, I can say without a doubt that I see the craziest amounts of guns I've ever seen so far in the trenches of St. Louis. I even saw kids that looked like they were 10 or 11 toting automatic weapons. Today, we tap in with St. Louis locals making a name for themselves. First, we head to Mo P's hood. He's a rapper putting up impressive numbers on YouTube. He sounds like this. Wiping the cocaine off my Mary's. The remains of what got book is coming in so quickly. Vince me calling my phone. How you know the digits? They trying to come with it. Piece of 16 and they in the trenches. And then we head to entrepreneur Heavy G's block. He's known in the city bad, for selling bad. exotic snacks. And the cross. Yeah, that, bro, that, yeah, that's the last time I see an edge, bro. That's gonna be, that's gonna be sad, bro. I, I don't know though, bro. I ain't gonna lie. I don't know. I don't know. That's why his leg, her cap. Lived in the hood, he would get bitch. Bro, I literally lived in the hood, bro. What are you talking about, bro? Like before I came out here to Arizona, bro, I was li like, I literally lived in the hood, bro. And then we had, we, we were gonna move to our new neighborhood, right? We were, before we moved to our new neighborhood, we had to live in a hotel for like eight months, bro, because we had to wait for the fucking uh, building to get put up. And we didn't want to rent another house. So, you know what I'm saying? You live but never popped out. I popped out a couple times, actually. I did pop out a couple times. I popped out a couple times. But, nigga, I walked home from school, bro. So I was out all the time. Bro, niggas was getting jumped after the school. Like, niggas got off the school bus and they got jumped, bro. I was cool with the little niggas who was doing it. It was little niggas. Like, niggas was in, like, sixth grade, bruh. I was... Or not sixth grade. I was in sixth grade. They were in, like, fourth or fifth. Jumping niggas. And I was just like, damn. I was cool with them niggas because we hooped together and shit. And, like, you know what I'm saying? We hooped together. I was, like... I, was, I would, like, play soccer and shit with them niggas. Like, 
know what I'm saying? I'll, I'll buy them niggas shit if, if we went to uh, if we went to the Dollar General that was like right outside the neighborhood. It was a Dollar General and there was a um, it was like a nail salon. So you was the bitch kid. No, I'm not the bitch kid. Bitch, if I was the fucking bitch kid, then they would have just jumped my ass like they were jumping everybody else off after the fucking bus. They didn't go outside once a month. I was literally outside today, nigga. What are you talking about? I was outside today. I went to the fucking gym. I, I went to the gym. I did a normal workout. And then I was like, oh, shit. Let me go to the fucking, uh, let me go play basketball, right? Boom. I started hoping. I recorded a fucking video. Chat, that was one of the worst videos I ever recorded in my fucking life. Bro, when I tell you I was playing such dog shit basketball on camera, turned the camera off, and I started playing better, bro. Like, dead ass. Today or next year? What the fuck? The world's most expensive lemonade. How much do these cost? Twenty-five dollars. What? These cost twenty-five dollars. Yes. Join me as I hit the streets and look for answers on how to make St. Louis a more peaceful place. Twenty-five dollars for a lemonade is insane. Tell you on this Butterfinger. On this Butterfinger, bro. I don't really. I don't, I don't be fucking with like uh, with like candy and shit. I'm on a diet and shit. Here, y'all got this, bro. Y'all got this Butterfinger, bro. Here, here, bro. Here you go, bro. Yeah. Don't say I ain't never gave y'all nothing, bro. I can fuck that nigga got on fucking bulletproof vest, bro. We're here in the Go outskirts ahead. of St. Louis. Before we get into the trenches in the most dangerous city in America, let's talk to the folks that live here and see what they think about it. So St. Louis has been ranked as the most dangerous city in America for the. It's crazy because I know niggas from St. Louis, bro, and they're some of the most bitch-made niggas on the fucking planet. So it's like the fact that. But I think they live right outside of it, though. I think they live right outside of St. Louis. Actually, no. It's from the burbs, bro. Niggas from the burbs of St. Louis, bro. I'm not from the suburbs, nigga. I don't live in the suburbs. Like, what the fuck are y'all talking about? That the same size as your dick. All right. We've already... Come on. Come on, man. We, all, we already know the size of your dick, bro. Like, come on, bro. The other niggas are... Stop. 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 The nigga's literally bitch made, bro. I'd literally drop that nigga on his fucking head, bro. Like, come on, bro. Come on, bro. I'd drop that nigga on his head. Just like this. Jesus. Nah, I'm not. It'd be looking so close, bro. It'd be looking so close. Like, I'd be. Ah, it's. Ooh. Ooh. The second year in a row? Does that surprise you? No. 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 It doesn't because I know the stat. I don't like it, nor do I agree with it. We lost our mob a long time ago, which controlled the gangs. Our gangs have oh. taken over. Are you a mother? I am. And you feel concerned raising your kids in St. Louis? Where I raised my kids in the county. An area like this. What is it like raising kids in St. Louis? It's kind of scary. If you were mayor, what would you do? Or if you had a message to the mayor, what would you say? Start blocking people up left and right. I try to find more opportunity for these kids to just to train their mind, just to keep them on track with things. I am all about support for the for the youth. And I think that that's where we need to start having more activities for the youth. When I was growing up, it was a lot more things to do. In the last two years, 5% of the population But the two pieces of cheese are stuck together, together, bro. Why do you think that is? More opportunity. Yes. We're, we're about to meet with a, a gangster rap crew that has a ton of guns on them. How do you reach those guys? You got to give them a better upbringing. I mean, you got to give them something to look forward to. That's key. It's look Nigga said, Gun took a power bomb me anytime. <laughs> well, RKO will knock out the shot by the. Whoa. <laughs> nah, right. AW having their shit together the last, these last couple months, but I really think it's just because of that Wembley show, bro. We're going to see how they are after Wembley, but. They've been putting on some good shit, though. No cap. These last couple, uh. Ever since. Really, ever since Double or Nothing, they've really been like. Running with shit. Mm, ever since Forbidden Door. Stand up real quick. No, I'm good. Wrestling wise, oh, 100%. Wrestling wise, yeah, they're better than their BB, but like storyline wise, their BB still got them beat. Looking at them like they're, they're heroes, you know? Once we focus on the youth. Characters too. WWE has way better characters than AEW. 
then we will be able to make the, a difference in the, the future as a whole. Stay focused, stay positive, and try to keep, keep the idle mind going. I don't know what they go through, I don't know why they're doing what they're doing, and I am not a smart enough person to be able to help. Stay away from us. <laughs> <laughs> this says stay away from us. So things are getting a little crazy. You gotta protect yourself out there. So the sponsor of today's video is Bulletproof Zone. They're helping. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's that's a W fucking sponsor. Yo, they got a fucking bulletproof vest to sponsor his fucking video. Lightweight, you can move around, you can hide it under a shirt. We never want the worst to happen, but when it does, you want to be ready. Protect Vest comes in level three protection that is available for children sizes for all levels of protection. Bulletproof. Okay, I didn't snipe the ad all the way. No type of MDF uncle. MDF and uncle is gonna be pretty good. I'm not gonna lie. I'm more excited with what they're gonna do in the match. Like, are they still gonna be friends afterwards? Or like, you know what I'm saying? You know, I'll pop them. Cold dead hell of nigga playing. Get off with some shit. Thirty guns a night, exotic shit. I wake up picking blicks. Six whips in the back, five niggas geet up. You look at places like this, and is it really that surprising that things are crazy here? You have to think about the mentality of starting out in this spot. I'm not excusing this behavior. I'm not saying killing each other is okay. Look. Okay. The thing is, though, does Tommy, like, check into these places? Like, did he just be pulling up on some random shit with a camera crew? Like, like, yo, I don't want to talk to y'all niggas type shit. Or does he, like, check in with, like, somebody in the hood? Like, I could tell some videos he definitely, like, at least communicated with somebody because then there's like an escort kind of to like escort him around like show him around to everybody but like, like does he do that with all videos because i ain't gonna lie this one just seems a little like i don't know i don't know over here imagine growing up and uncle turn on him that's my prediction too i'm not gonna lie under 10 adam i i think adam cole turns on mjf because it's too obvious for mjf to turn on adam cole but if they want to do it though I had this idea last Wednesday. <laughs> Pop ship of popcorn. Oh, oh shit! You talking? To, oh shit! Personally, hey, I wouldn't. Hey, just saying. Um, but I would say, uh, okay, this is my this is my this is my suggestion. This is my prediction. Another prediction. If you know what I'm saying. What if, what if, what the fuck are you talking to like that, boy? You know who owns you, nigga? Me. I put a sock in it. Anyways, um, so you have MJF Adam Cole, right? Or MJF Adam Cole, right? Right? Okay. Then you put uh, you have MJF turn on Adam Cole during the match, like you have like maybe Roderick Strong come out or some shit, like stop the match, blah blah. blah. Or you just have MJF cheat to win. Them cheat. Roderick Strong's like, oh, blah, 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 like, oh, fuck this shit, like, he, like, or Roderick Strong maybe causes Adam Cole to lose the match, too, that could be a thing, too, <laughs> no, we were watching All In, what are we, 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 go, we going to kick to watch All In, it's gonna be, like, early in the day, though, because what, what time is it during the day, it's like, isn't it, like, in the morning type shit, like, nine in the morning or some crazy shit? Isn't that like when the uh, zero hour one starts? Watch on YouTube. Yeah, zero hour, right? 1 p.m. Eastern. The fuck is 1 p.m. Eastern? That's a. Uh, that's 10 my time, I think. Bet. How did things get to this? What happened? You just can tell that we are tiptoeing on Trenchville. Tell the people what to expect from this area. What goes down? A lot goes down. A lot of these guys, man, they, they younger. So I'm a little bit more eager to do the crimes. Kind of, I don't want to say it like that, but. They're more reckless. More young. reckless. That's a better way to work. Have you ever been in a video shoot and a shootout happened? And I've been there where they just been shooting. Maybe they was trying to scare the artists off the block or something. They just start letting off shots. So I've been, I've literally have footage running with the camera, hearing the gunshots. It's crazy, man. I hope there ain't things. This is the type of area that every single car that passes, uh, you gotta watch out for. My main man. Oh, okay. Good to meet you, man. Story tells this is Mopey. This is a real spitter. You want a bar spitter that goes bar for bar. Every single song he makes, this is the guy. Tell the people 
where we are right now. Right now, we really in the middle of the horseshoe. They carry the dipset for real, 5,500 for real, for real. We got some more coming down, god damn me. It feels shit. slightly sketchy. Like, it feels like things could pop off at any moment. In a place That's like St. Louis for you. I ain't gonna fake a real deal. Everybody trying to be okay. a tap. What do you love about St. Louis? I love everything about St. Louis. I ain't gonna fake it. Like, I don't want to leave my city. I love everything about my city from the food to the cars we drive to the phases we go through, all type of shit. You got the shoes with the tags still on them. Is that a toothbrush? Cool. Clean them off? There, right, there, right, there, right, there, right, there, right. So what's the mission? What's the plan nah, right that's, now? Like, I ain't gonna lie, that's kind of calm. I ain't gonna lie, that's kind of calm. Clean them off? Like, you got the... Oh, it's a Nike toothbrush? That's... Hey, I kind of fuck with that. I'm not gonna lie. I wouldn't wear it like that out in public. But... If I'm just like keeping the shoe underneath the bed type shit, I would definitely have the toothbrush like right next to it so I could clean it off before I put the shoes on and shit. That's tough. That's tough. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. So what's the mission? What's the plan right now? Like, what are you trying to do in this city? Get signed for real. Bring my city up out of here for real. Be another nearly. Like, I'm trying to be better than Drake. And when you blow up, what are your plans? Let's just say you got $10 million in the bank right now. What's your plan? Four, five million going dead on my rap. And the other million, I'm going to get a game some shit so they can have money cycling in. One really important thing as an American that we have a right to is the right to bear arms. How important is that in this city? Bro, I feel like at a very young age bro parents should be teaching their kids to how to use guns like you should be able to at any age to teach your kid how to use a gun like that's what they should be teaching in schools mm -hmm. not dumb ass shit i mean not I, I don't when we get up out of here you know what percent of people around here okay I, I, I don't necessarily how to use a gun in school is kind of crazy i'm not gonna lie that that's that's just kind of crazy i think have a gun realistically 90 percent everybody got a gun no Ain't facts he is a real deal but Tell he wants to how you grew up what was your childhood like How'd you get to where you are now? Regular childhood and on some St. Louis shit. I grew up my granny for real on some little cool shit. She ended up passing away to cancer and shit. After that shit, the nigga was by herself. That was at like 12 years old, for real. So, so you had no parents and no grandma from the time you were 12? Yeah, right? for real. If we elected you mayor of St. Louis, what would you do to make the city better, stronger, safer? It really starting the heart of the community, for real. You make a little change in one community, motherfuckers need to actually be hands-on with shit. Like, get their hands dirty with niggas who been getting their hands dirty, for real. To me, a lot of the reason a lot of young men are reckless right now is almost just like for thrill-seeking. Kids are bored, and they're shit, trying to do things for the thrill of it. Yeah, like, motherfuckers really want that rush. You got to think, like, motherfuckers sit at the crib all day on Instagram. That's real as fuck, motherfuckers. Like, I want to do what they doing. That's hella real. Gentlemen, I'm gonna need some help breaking down some St. Louis slang. I just heard Tapper. Help me use it in a sentence properly. Okay, right. I was thinking that. I ain't gonna cap. I was thinking, I was like, bro, what if it's like, what if this nigga get slid on like mid vid? Cause he just said anything can happen at any given time. And this nigga just outside. He, I, I would assume he don't got nothing on him right now cause he's doing a like video, but you know what I'm saying? That shit kind of crazy. What's the word, tap? You know, word tap? On me, Red Deer, I'm God. You about to tap some shit today? I'm God. Wait, what you, Tommy Tap? Which one? G Tap? Tommy Tap? Which one? G Tap. Oh, my mama. <laughs> nigga, we got G Tap in this motherfucker, nigga. On God, hey. Red Real deal. My soul. What's the word? G Tap. I hear people say, God damn me. God damn me. Shut oh, the God, fuck God, up, God damn. Play the whole thing. What if I just, like, don't hit play again? Like, like, what's gonna happen to me? Like, what, like, what are you gonna do? What are you gonna do to me if I just don't hit play again? Out of curiosity, like, cause you're talking that you're talking crazy right now. So like, I just want to see where your head's at, type shit. Like, what is going to happen to me if I don't? Okay. Hit me on God. Swear to God. Swear to God. Is that bad? Bo P started getting agitated, grabbed his strap, and ran towards the street. So I figured bad things were about to happen. But nope, just another day in St. Louis. <laughs> Good, Good, to Good to meet you. Good to meet you. What the fuck? Good to meet you. Why this nigga draws? Yo! This nigga strap heavy as shit. What the fuck? <laughs> bro, at least, like, put... At least, like, draw the strings on your fucking shirt, bro. Like, bro, come on, bro. Come on, bro. Pull the strings on your shorts, bro. Good to bro, meet you, gang. Them little monsters. Oh, God. <laughs> Tell your ass up. Are you guys in middle school or high school? I'm in high school. Okay. So we talked to people, citizens of St. Louis before we came here. And a lot of them said they're getting scared to live in the city. The violence is becoming too much. What do you think about what those people are saying? Cap. 
That's a cap, bro. Because don't have to cap. nobody to just stand out the way. So basically, you got to have your hands dirty to have things happen. Nah, because you could be a bystander and get hit. If, if I wanted like to buy a gun, how easy would it be to find one, and how much do I got to pay? It's Ooh, easy, buy right? buy this motherfucker right now, full stack. It's all good. <laughs> <laughs> What's the average age a kid touches their first gun around here? Bro, I was hella young playing with guns on God, bro. This generation, bro, like, me and my partners graduated. I ain't gonna fake it, like, all the other shit, that shit killed. Was graduating important to you? Damn right. I ain't gonna fake it. When my grandma passed away, like I told you, like, that was a big thing on, on my list. Like, I had to graduate. That We finna go to the little place where I shot s**t out of there. Come on, tell. I got diamonds sitting on the west, so ass. My bitch, they send for Ali, bass, they say fish, she praying for me. Big boy, 4 5 ACP, oh. one deep in this 3.0 oh. T. New ball, I get up the street, we can't tap, get close. He watching all the perimeters. Local fresh. It's on gangland. First game. First game here? Yeah. So the Bloods came here, set up shop. When was that, like 1960s? <laughs> Late. <laughs> he said, came here, set up shop. <laughs> bro, this nigga Tommy's so funny. This nigga Tommy's unintentionally funny, bro. <laughs> Funny. Of the 90s. From an outside perspective, it makes me sad to see you. You messing with me? No, I, oh God. Certified trapper. Oh, is that the clip of uh, uh, Eddie Kingston coming back? I seen that. That's me during our interview where he faked go like this just to try and get my reaction. Um, you see some shit or what? <laughs> Okay, you look like you were you looked like you're about to go Navy SEAL mode on us. When I see all the, the numbers of deaths, it makes me really sad. It's see, the police I see a lot of young men I mean, that have potential that never got to live that potential out. Mo, you got any bars for us? All right, now all right, now all right. Oh, look shit. at my glizz, look at bro glizz, and they both came from smacking. We hit the south in different wheels because we just swapped the traffic. Put dude ass on VOTP comes under and say what happened to him. Ain't heard from when last we seen got hitting this shit no more. Look, they cover up they ears. Mass speeds on the flyway make them think it's task. They watch they murders. Max suppress don't hurry. Bro got button C crowd trying to clear him. One deep drop. That nigga said murders. That nigga, he need to link with money back, yo. Break with 60, think I'm frivolous. That tough guy acted sickness, luckily Drizzy a cram. Chasing shit, booking fat ass guns with built up my endurance. Burn them car, know we got some stupid. They say fast and free. GT stinker, no key USB, won't see it for you, hurry. Taz, pick me up, show different times, say what you was doing during. I don't know nothing. I can't even spell my name if y'all was curious. Lil' bruh snatched scat pack off the lot, wrapped on the way back, stern. Oh, God. My yeah, I ain't gonna lie, that shit was ass at the beginning, bro. But then, like, he, at the second half, the second half, like, kind of saved it a little bit. That's, like, at the beginning, he was just saying anything, bro. I ain't gonna lie, I don't know what the fuck he was doing to that. But, uh, nah, here, here it was, uh, it was good right here, though. Why is he so crazy? <laughs> bro, I don't, I don't know why he was so, I was wondering that shit at first, too. Bro. I was just like, bro, why the fuck is every vein coming out of this nigga body right now, bro? Like, why is he spitting with such, like, vulgar tenacity, bro? Like, oh my gosh, what the fuck I'm trying to watch? Bitch is fucking paused. Mama. Sheesh. Okay, so one thing you said in that song, who is Task? That's what we call unmarked Everybody police cars. Black trucks? Yeah. They be in every yeah, unmarked yeah. cars, like yeah. the same type of car you rode in, just yeah. 10. I got some questions to ask you. Yes, yes, yes. First impression. The fucking real deal. Tell. Real deal. My soul. A lot of people say drill music is to blame for all the violence in the cities. What do you cap. think about that? On God, that's cap. On God, that's cap. That's cap. He see your stream, he gonna beat your ass. He's not beating my ass, but that nigga's gonna shoot me, bruh. That, like, it, it, like, what the fuck? That's not even, like, come on, bruh. Like, the nigga just, the nigga be grabbing his strap over anything, bruh. Like, I'm getting shot, bruh. It's not even a, and besides, a nigga telling you your music isn't good, you shouldn't kill that nigga for that. Y'all are, see, y'all, y'all are mislabeling this young man right here, bro. This young, educated black man. He did not... He, he's not a cold-blooded killer. He's more than likely just doing it for self-defense. He's a rapper at the end of the day. Like, he doesn't want that bad image. You know what I'm saying? Y'all put some respect on, uh, what's his, what's his name? Mo P? Y'all put some respect on Mo P, bruh. Bruh, drill music is just where a motherfucker feeling when they going through the jungle, bruh. Real deal, bruh. You can't blame a motherfucker. Do you feel like you have a... Nah, that's facts, bro. Because they be like, oh, yeah. Oh, they're, they're drill music. They're talking about this. And they're talking about killing. And that's why people are going to kill. Come on, bro. Like, nigga, I was a little legit talking about fucking sliding on niggas' blocks, killing niggas, all that shit. Like, what the f Bro, come on, bro. I was talking that. Bro, 
like the lyrics that I be that I was saying as a jit, bro, crazy shit. That you just like, but what? You said you gonna slide on who? You gonna do what to that girl? Like just crazy shit. And I'm just like, bro, it's just a song, bro. I'm not acting out shit that's happening in a fucking song, bro. If you say you're not gonna slide on a block, like. You know what I'm saying? If you gonna slide on a block, I'm not sliding on a block just because a nigga said that shit in the song. We smoking JJ. You is not like that. What the f like? What what do y'all take me for, bruh? A positive impact on the world. Yeah. A tapper is a motherfucker who don't get no and they really trying to be they self for real. Oh, People yeah. can listen to yeah, music. I'm a certified tapper, chat. I'm a certified tapper, nigga. I don't give a fuck what y'all niggas say, man. Fuck y'all niggas, man. Fuck y'all niggas, bitch. You a bitch, nigga. I'm a tapper, nigga. I'm a tapper, nigga. Yeah, I'm J Tap, nigga. I'm J Tap. Yeah. 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 I'm J Tap. Yeah. Mo P just, you know what I'm saying? He said I'm good. He said I'm a tap. You know what I'm saying? He said I'm a tapper and shit. Yeah, stop playing with me, bro. Stop playing with me, bro. This nigga said I'm, you know, probably on some peaker. <laughs> you straight pussy. Bro, why can't niggas say anything yeah, positive? Do what you want to do with it. I can listen to your song. I can go lift weights. I can listen to your song when I'm on a road trip. I can listen to your song and beat the shit out of somebody. We all have the choice. Okay, listening to song on a road trip is a little crazy. Like drill music on a road trip. Not gonna lie, you that I don't know if you want to do that. Road trips are for like Katy Perry, Taylor Swift type shit. I don't know if you want to listen to no drill on a road trip, bro. Unless it's, you're the only one in the car, maybe. But, like, I don't know, bro. Like, if you got the whole fam in a car on a road trip, bro, I doubt, like, drill music ain't really, like, you know what I'm saying? Except what we do once we listen to the song. Oh, man. Did you ever get scared of any of you guys shooting your dick off when you pass huh? and put the gun, like, right here? There's some, uh, Cheddar Bob ass shit. <laughs> I, I see what he's talking about, though. Bro, because I ain't gonna lie, pistols just be shooting for no reason, bro. If you leave that bitch off safety, bro, that shit will just shoot. Like, it's the craziest thing in the world, but that's part of the reason why I hate pistols, bro. Because they're just so, like... I mean, I, I, I think pistols are really unsafe, bro. That's why I like ARs, bro. I'm an AR kind of nigga, bro. Like, nigga, I pop your ass in the forehead. Like, shit, nigga. What? I pop your ass in the goddamn forehead with my goddamn ACOG scope AR-15 right to the fucking dome. I won't even pull out no Glock on your ass. You know what I'm saying? You pass that no trespassing sign, nigga. Shit. You know what I'm saying? I got my shit right now on P. Bro. They didn't even ain't about shit. Like, I go 80 out of 25. <laughs> nah, I was, bro. When I was in Phoenix, bro, there was a turn. I think I was going, like, 70. Allegedly, in GTA. Uh, like, the, the Phoenix, like, map shit. The Phoenix RP. The, R the RP map in GTA 5. Um, in RP, yeah, I was going, I was going 75, right? I was going 75, and the fucking turn said 35. Nigga, that fucking turn was so damn sharp. Nigga, I drifted, bro. I drifted. And my car is front wheel drive. I drifted, bro. I said, because I, I, I still had my foot on the gas, but then afterwards I slammed on the brake. And while I slammed on the brake, I was turning. And it was like, like, bro, that shit. Nigga, I felt, you could, nigga, I thought my name was Dom Toretto, bitch. Like, no cap. This nigga only got them guns you see in the arcade. The only gun he holds was water guns. What are you... Like... I'm telling y'all I have a... Alright, bro. Alright, bro. Like, because I mean, like, even... I could literally pull the gun out right now and show you... I could literally pull the gun out and show you on camera what my gun looks like. And y'all still would still come up with some bullshit like, oh, he... He got that gun from someone else. That's an airsoft gun. It, it shoot BBs. It, like, okay. All right, bro. All right. See? That low BB. I told. Hey, I'm just saying. Uh, look. Look, bro. Look, bro. I, I don't know what y'all want from me, bro. I don't know what y'all want from me, bro. Y'all niggas would. Y'all don't got to believe it, though. That's the thing. I, I'm not saying it for y'all. I'm saying this shit because it's a fact. Y'all don't got to believe it. Think he's gun out of paper. Show a clip. Bro, I'm not. <laughs> okay, all right. That fucking tap, main tap. We out of here, my mom. Like, I can't even imagine what it would be like 
growing up in that type of situation, you reap what you sow. Like you attract what you put out into this world. I know former drug dealers that are now millionaires in real estate. I know former bank robbers that are millionaires in business. You could be the street guy pushing up a lot of cash in the street, your choice. There are consequences that come with that. There's dangers that come with that. You could be the legit business guy too. If you move those street skills into entrepreneurship, I think you're gonna have a safer, more sustainable lifestyle. Next folks, True. Heavy G, an entrepreneur in St. Louis. <laughs> Well, familiar, I think I know, folks. They rub them at the bit, but you're not from St. Louis. Okay. We'll see you there. We're Where's... here with the St. Louis oh. legend, Heavy G. A big Heavy thing G. we're highlighting is entrepreneurship. What do you got cooking up over here? My food truck right here, selling uh, Rotel. That's, that's some little St. Louis, like some nachos type shit. And we selling my world famous drink, Whippy. This is how the Whippy look. I just, I've been doing this shit for one year as of last month. So this is my one year anniversary. It looked bro. like drink, but, but it ain't, ain't what you think. think. It, that's my newest flavor. I want you to try this. Mm. Far, I know. That's good. Thank How'd you invent this? You know I'm a big influence in my city. I had brought some sodas back from Texas, like you did. You want to get some drinking shit. And I started selling the sodas for $20. And the sodas ended up getting so popular over the city, everybody started buying them some Fagos. And the stock actually went up 10% within the 30 days of me promoting it. So I'm like, damn, I ain't made no money off this, you know? So own it, own so, your own shit. Yeah, and I knew I could do it. Because you know, the Fago sodas was $2. So I'm like, I got to make all that money back that I missed. So I'm making mine 25, the most expensive lemonade to ever drop on earth. Look, this the Rotel right here. So what is this on the chip? Ground beef and cheese. <laughs> oh, nah, I had some chips like that. With the ground beef and the cheese on there? Bro, chat, when I tell y'all my fucking nacho cheese recipe is goaded, my nacho cheese has never missed, bro. Has never missed. I got people everywhere. I visit them a lot. All right. Rotel smack. Ah, not even on no Rotel shit, bro. Bro, I ain't gonna lie, like, it's like, you know what I'm saying? Fuck up, black boy. It's fire. This is our culture. This is what we do. We eat, we eat Rotel, take bitches to the hotel, and make sure you put it out. But look, you know what I'm saying? My recipe that I make, bro, like, I'm telling you. I'm telling you, bro. I'm telling you, bro. It's one of them ones. It's a Korean store? This is the best exotic store in the Midwest. St. Louis, Missouri, the Midwest. I'm standing on it. This is the $5 snack table right here. This is for the scrambles. You ain't got your bag all the way right. They got the Skittles without the shell. Crazy. This oh my God, you keep talking. What the How fuck? How do we get these in the St. Louis grocery stores? Because I feel like that's the next move for you. That's what everybody been telling me, but they so expensive. It's like, I feel like it'll, be, it'll cost an like, epidemic of people stealing these. How much do these cost? $25. This costs $25. Yes, for regular lemonade. That is 20... crazy. Because it's regular lemonade, but at the same time, ain't nothing regular about it. It's mine. You will never get this taste anywhere else. It's definitely delicious. But if I were to tell my wife, honey, I just spent $25 on lemonade, I feel like I would be in trouble. You would, until she see it. I'm gonna give you something for wifey too, just okay. so she can understand too. Okay, I'm shout out to Sweet Cheeks, okay? Yeah, shout out Sweet Cheeks. <laughs> yeah, it's like, What's a lesson you've learned being an entrepreneur? Your debut day ain't gonna be like that every day. There's ups and downs, right? Yeah, and a lot of times you might have more downs than up, but you gotta fight through it. We gotta go get this food, man. All right, we'll see you guys at the next stop. Yeah, I'm gonna get you a combination plate with the same paw. Oh my granny. Oh, yeah. Out of all these, which one you think you're gonna like? First Come chicken. You gotta go no, 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 no. Yeah, boy. Uh, hey. yeah. Hey. 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 What's that? You're officially a St. Louis nigga. I know, wait, wait, you gotta get that thing. Don't be fooled. It's where I go down at this side of town. Does it surprise you that St. Louis is the most dangerous city in America? Are we really good? <laughs> the next day, Heavy G sent me a text saying someone was shot and killed at a nearby BP. Very sad. An immigrant that was working hard at a gas station just got their life taken by a kid. So the danger here is absolutely real. Back to the Damn. I remember being five years old knowing that St. Louis is the number one for the murder rate. And I remember Detroit used to be like one or two, like we are always being competition. Back I just remember that. If you were mayor, what would you do to help the city be a little bit stronger, better, safer? The, the youth is who killing everybody. Yeah. The youth is who dying, the youth is who getting shot. And they are future. More fun, more concerts, more things for people to be interactive and not laughing. on their phone or not just. Nigga, they were probably just doing their job. And then somebody ran in their shit with a damn, uh, with, 
the intent to just probably steal some shit out of the gas station, and then they had their gun on them and just fucking shot the guy. Like, yeah, if you think you're posted rough. up somewhere, like just sitting outside. There's, 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 there's a lot of people do. that live so much of their life just on their phone. The Second Amendment is the American right to bear arms. How do you feel about that? Well, you know, in Missouri, we got it real good and easy. As long as you over 18, you can have any gun you want. Yeah. That's why it's a lot of violence going on. Like, that's why, like, not that's why, but because it, it's going to be going on regardless. Any last one of us can go in the gun store and grab a gun. And on top of that, you can have your mama go get you a gun, and you can just have a gun at 18, 19. It's good as far as all these niggas on that, so you everybody can legally have a gun. And So the playing field is equal, at least. Yeah, damn right. But a Y'all lot of good. <laughs> I used to post up my whole childhood. I, I'm gonna have to get Somebody just get shot on the video. Like, I used to sit on that motherfucker every day. We'd be 20, 40 deep out here. A lot of niggas done died down here. A lot of niggas done trapped down here. 5% of St. Louis has left the city in the last two years. A lot of people fleeing the city, getting out. They say it's too scary, too dangerous Damn to raise right. a kid. What do you think about that? It is. I ain't gonna lie. The only person that could, that could get this city where it's supposed to be is me. I ain't gonna lie. The ops probably the niggas, wrong fans. That nigga said the only person is me. <laughs> That's, they a know big, uh, and that's a big responsibility. See the type of shit I'm doing? They'll call it off like it wouldn't be nothing. But. You know there's helicopters here that chase cars? Yes. Yeah. Really? Yes, today. You probably gonna see one. Do you guys got any videos of that? This vehicle looks to be cutting through the back alleys right now, going so fast it, ra it outran the chopper. Yeah, there's people who really be in a car running away from the helicopter. Yeah, yeah. I Good news, I didn't get hit. Good news for you. You have a chance to win this autograph. Bull God damn it! Fuck! Got caught with a fucking ad, bro. Shit. That, that was a beautiful transition, though, Tommy. I'm not gonna lie. That was a beautiful transition. Hey, come on, dude. Dude, hey, stop doing them, dog. You know I got people. Motherfucker was chasing me one time, shooting at oh, me. Oh, fuck. Oh, shit. Well, I WCAP. Got your ass. Shot it. Out the window, flagging them down. Yeah, I thought, I thought niggas was busting. Police ride deep around here, right? There's no way they come here with one car. Why y'all keep doing this? It's the young guys that get the wrong attention. How old is the average kid when they get their first trap around here? Entering your teens, 13, 14. I ain't gonna lie. If somebody wanna do some gangster shit, they gonna do it from the main street. I usually wear my Crocs to a video shoot today. I wore the f***ing Nikes for a reason. Put on your feet, you want to raise down? Dude, I'm a, I got a pretty quick 40 yard dash. Whoa, he finna... Ain't gonna lie, Tommy, bro, if you lose a race to this nigga, bro, I ain't gonna lie, like... Hey. Hey. I'm just saying. I'm not gonna say, you know what I'm saying, but you know what I'm saying. <laughs> Oh, he gave him a head start. All right, folks, this was an adventure through St. Louis. Heavy G, any words you got for the people to keep them motivated, hustling, excited? Man, be yourself. You won't need no help. Stay true, true. to you. All right, folks, we'll see you next week. Be yourself. You don't need no help, bro. I'm tweeting that, bro. I'm tweeting that. I'm tweeting that shit out. Peace. All right, folks, we got a badass merch drop for you and the chance to win a bulletproof vest. Who's doing that? We got these are two new designs. We got the white. We got the black. We got the streetwear design, big dog gotta eat. We got the blue, we got the black. You roll through the city wearing this dude, come on. Purchase any t-shirt from the site and you're entered to win a bulletproof vest. I'll see you guys at TommyGMcGee.com. Nigga, won't be independent. Don't need no nigga, no business shit, so don't come to me trippin'. Stuff 33 in my Glock, go tell the off that Mopey pimpin'. Chopper knock his chest off for his heart, beat out loud if you listen. They come find his body, so they sent out reports, little dude missing. Folks, hope you enjoyed this episode. If you want to watch another, here. If you want to subscribe, over here. See you next week. Tommy, this is the second time that you haven't had a single video on this damn thing. I'm talking about, oh, yeah, this video's right here. This video's right here. Well, I'm going to have that shit there. So, get your own quote, bitch. Where's the fuck up you built like him? Like, what the fuck do I be doing? Like, all right. Anyways, this is a good video, Tommy. Uh, video uh, down, straight down here should be a, another recommended video. Um, over here uh, should be a button to subscribe. You know what I'm saying? 90% uh, of you guys aren't subscribed, so uh, get on that. And uh, yeah.